Jamie, this is madness. It is madness to spend $300 billion taking health insurance away from more than 10 million Americans in order to finance tax cuts for the top 1% of Americans. What values are served by doing that? Moreover, who's going to pay for the health care when the people show up in emergency rooms? The administration says this tax plan will give middle class Americans a tax break. They say the corporate uh, tax rate will stir investment. You say about this plan? I think this plan will bloat our deficit, favor the most affluent, and mortgage our future. From your it's a serious, it's a serious uh, policy error. The Trump administration is still saying it could give middle Americans a salary increase of four thousand to nine thousand dollars. It's a nonsense claim. Yes, there may be some stimulus to investment, and yes, that may have some impact on wages, but no serious expert who looks at the actual plans under discussion has or will support the $4,000 to $9,000 claim. In a word, you think the claim is? Ludicrous, mm. absurd, mm. Uh, not going to happen. Bottom line, is there anything good about this tax plan? There are some very limited efforts to contain some abuse involving tax havens, which, if substantially extended and expanded, could be quite valuable. There's the idea of extending the child tax credit. That is a quite valuable idea. But in its, to in its totality, I think this uh, plan is a serious error. You have taken on Treasury Secretary Mnuchin recently. You've said the administration's claims about the tax plan were, quote, dishonest, incompetent, and absurd. Did you go too far? Has it gotten too personal? No, no. I, I said that with respect to his specific claim that the tax plan would pay for itself. When he made the claim, he referenced a published Treasury study. There is no published Treasury study. There is no serious economist nor any reading of the experience to support his claim that the tax bill will pay for itself. I've been doing this for a lot of years, and I've never said anything like that about any public official before. But when claims become unmoored from any possible reality, I think it's important to call that out. The specific claim that the Treasury Secretary has made repeatedly that the tax bill will pay for itself by spurring economic growth, I respect the office enormously, so it pains me to say it, is nonsense. It's nonsense. Nonsense. Why do you think he's saying it? You'll have to ask him why he's saying it. I imagine that it is not easy to have Donald Trump as a boss. I have been very you, surprised you, and disturbed that there have not been principled resignations from the Trump administration. Certainly, I would have resigned from any administration of which I was a part that had gone anything like uh, this far in terms of fake facts on the economic side or in terms of embracing uh, racists uh, in its uh, political rhetoric. And I am surprised and disappointed. I don't know how some of these people face their children. You would have resigned. I would have resigned, absolutely. As a professor, overall grade you'd give him? Anybody at the end of their first year gets an incomplete.